Hi everyone, my name's Sunny, and welcome to my maths adventure. In this video, I want to talk about private candidates who are self-studying, who for the second year in a row have received news that exams are once again canceled. With recent announcements in England and Wales regarding exam cancellations, it may come as relief for some students to know that GCSE and A-level grades will be based on teacher predictions rather than formal assessments or algorithms. Further information and guidance will be released on the framework of issuing of teacher predicted grades once the consultation by the Education Secretary Gavin Williamson and Ofqual concludes. In this video, I want to specifically talk about mature private students who are self-studying, a segment of the student population who are being affected drastically for the second year in a row with these exam cancellations. The 1920 academic year was tough for us, knowing that some of our student peers will be receiving grades for their qualifications and that we wouldn't be issued anything due to lack of evidence for a centre assessment grade. However, there was some hope knowing that we could perhaps put our lives on hold for another year and just maintain our studies, knowing that perhaps the situation in the country would get better and we would perhaps be able to take exams in the summer of 2021. However, that's changed now due to the ongoing saga in the world and exam cancellations for GCSEs and A-levels for summer 2021. This is a real gut punch to mature private students who were finally hoping to do their exams this year so they can progress in their life. I know for some of you from the comment section in my recent videos have been severely impacted by this news. All the hard work, effort and significant monetary costs you potentially would have to devote over the next two years would amount to nothing again as you wouldn't be able to sit any formal exams and therefore won't receive any grades again this year. However, there may be some hope. On the 13th of January 2021, the Education Secretary, Gavin Williamson, wrote to Ofqual outlining the process to agree on the alternative arrangements for exams in 2021. In one of the paragraphs, the Education Secretary wrote, I am writing, therefore, to ask that you continue to work jointly with my department on alternative arrangements based on teachers' assessments and prepared to launch a consultation so that we can give students, parents and teachers certainty quickly. The letter goes on to talk about exploring what evidence should be used to form teacher predicted grades and what possible avenues for appeals should be. However, the most important section for private candidates would be this single sentence. It is important that there is a clear and accessible route for private candidates to be accessed and receive a grade, and so the consultation should seek views on their options to do so. So there is some hope for private candidates after all this year. Now, there could be a possibility that the joint consultation would yield no recommendations that private candidates could be assessed in not only a fair way, but a safe way. However, in response to the letter from the Education Secretary, Simon Leburse, Chief Regulator, replied by saying, We agree that we must also consider how any arrangements can allow private candidates to receive a grade. We will consider carefully the different experiences of private candidates and the opportunities available to them to make sure the approach is fair to all and that they are not disenfranchised. So all private candidates should remain hopeful that you will receive some sort of exam grade this year after all, once the consultation concludes. I know for some of you, this period of time remains difficult because of the uncertainty. However, it's best that you continue to focus on your studies so you are prepared for whatever announcements are made in the future. After the results of the consultation have been made, private candidates will have a clearer picture of where they stand and how their exam grades will be awarded. So if you are a private candidate, continue to work hard, focus on your studies, because there is hope for all of you after all this year. I'll speak to you soon.